Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna show you a presentation secret that professional speakers use to memorize entire 60 minute keynote speeches in about three minutes or less. Hey, this is Doug Stannert with Fearless Presentations, the fastest, easiest way to eliminate public speaking fear. And this is part three of a three-part series on how to memorize your speech more effectively. Now, if you haven't had a chance to really watch the first two modules or the first two videos, then I would suggest that you kind of go back and watch those. So last time I talked about the stacking technique and basically just as a quick review, the way that the stacking technique works is since the mind likes to think in pictures, if you're trying to memorize a list of items, if you memorize a series of pictures, it's a whole lot easier than memorizing a bunch of bullet points. Well, the, the technique that we're gonna talk about today is what's called the room technique or the palace technique. It's very, very similar to the stacking technique, but you can put a lot more details into your presentation. So this is the kind of technique that a lot of professional speakers use. If you've ever seen a really good keynote speaker get up and just with a microphone on stage, give an entire 60 minute speech, one of two things is most likely happening. Either that person has memorized the entire 60 minute speech, which I, I, I assume some of them probably do, or more likely the person has memorized the concepts that he or she is covering in that speech using the palace technique. So the way that the palace technique works is you want to think of an area or a building or someplace that you know inside and out. You might pick your own home, you might pick your office space, but pick some place that you know really, really well. So like for instance, if I'm going to use the palace technique, I'll use my own home. I go to my home, I leave my home every day to go to work, I come back every evening, you know, so I know that place inside and out. So like for instance, in my home, the way that I visualize my home is when I walk in the front door, I'm in my formal living area. It's where the big sofa is that nobody ever sets on unless company comes over, that kind of thing, right? And then off to my right, just shortly as I as I walk into the door is the the little room that my wife is now using as an office. So it's a little, my wife's little office space. A little bit further on my left is our formal dining room. So that's where the big table is that we only set at for like Thanksgiving and Christmas. And then off to my right down the hallway is the den. That's where the TV is and the comfortable seats are. And that's where we, that's where we kind of gather as a family. So basically I've got four different rooms now and all I have to do is come up with a, an image or a concept for each one of the say five bullet points I'm gonna be covering. And I'll just put that image in each one of these rooms. So in the last video, when I taught the stacking technique, we came up with a, with a simple kind of presentation that had three key bullet points. The presentation was about how we were gonna increase profit this quarter. Bullet point number one was about cutting costs. Bullet point number two was about reducing rework. Bullet point number three was about reaching out to past clients to resell them. So if those are our bullet points, we created images for each one of those using the stacking technique. So the very first image of cutting costs was a scissors cutting a price tag. The, um, the second bullet point about reducing rework, we used the concept of a mulligan in golf and how a golfer had taken a bad shot and he did a mulligan. The third one was about how we need to reach out to our customers. I, we had an image of our sales rep with stretchy arms reaching out to a, to a customer. So if I wanna use the palace technique to memorize those concepts, I'll take that first image of the scissors cutting the price tag and I'll put them in my formal living room. I might just have that image setting on the sofa as I walk into my, to my living room. For the second bullet point, which was the golfer doing the mulligan, I might have that golfer doing the mulligan from the top of my wife's desk. So when I walk in and look in my wife's desk, I see the golfer doing the mulligan. And for the third bullet point, I'm gonna put that in my formal dining area, maybe right on the, the formal table, the formal dining room table. And uh, of course, that's the, the sales rep that is reaching out to the, to the customer. Just to make it fit a little better, I could have my sales rep sitting at one end of the big long table and have her arm stretching all the way across the table to the customer that's sitting at the other end of the table. So now that we got the initial concepts, let's put some more meat on, on each one of those so-called bones of the, of the presentation. So bullet point number one was about cutting costs. So let's say I wanna tell a story about something that has happened recently that cost us more than what it should. So like for instance, last week, we had three separate orders for office supplies that were sent out on three different days of the week. 
we could have combined those orders into one and saved on shipping fees. Let's just say that that's the story, that's the concept that I, I wanna get across. So if on that formal living room sofa, I've got the scissors and the price tag, then on one cushion, I could have three ships, right? Those three ships could represent the three different shipment fees that we paid for the items that we could have just con consolidated down into one. So by making an image out of the story, it makes it easier for me to remember that. So let's say I wanted to reinforce this bullet point using an analogy. And the analogy I wanna use is, is maybe doing chores around the house or running errands. Well, if I've got three different errands to run in the day, and I, and I basically go to the first store, drive to the first store, come back to the house and unload my car, and then go to the second store, come back to the house and unload my car, and go to the third store, come back to my house and unload the car, it's probably not a very efficient use of my time. I probably could have saved time and saved money by going to each one of the three stores on the same day or in the same trip would have been a whole lot easier. And that's really what we want to do with our purchases as well. We want to make sure we're consolidating our purchases in one order versus three orders and paying three separate shipping fees. So once I've got the analogy now, I just need to come up with an image for that analogy as well. So since we're talking about three different items, we, I might use a pitchfork or a, a trident, you know, a trident of some type. And I have that trident now sticking into the third cushion of the sofa. So basically on that sofa now, we've got the first image, which is the scissors and the price tag. On one cushion, we've got the three ships sailing on the cushion. On the third cushion, we have the trident sticking in. And now that gives me about six or seven, maybe up to 10 minutes of content for that particular bullet point. You do this for each one of the bullet points in each one of the rooms in your, in your palace, and it makes it much, much, much easier now to memorize the entire presentation in a very, very short period of time. Hey, I hope you got some great value out of these videos. Make sure and hit the subscribe button as well as leave me a comment. Let me know how you're using this to deliver your presentations more effectively. I'll see you on the next Fearless Presentations video. Thank you.